Here we are, guys and girls. Welcome back. It's me, Bassman. Hello. Nice to see you all again. Yes, I am off to the beach. A local beach. Stick with it. I'm not going to tell you where just yet. New series. Special guest series. So I'm going to do a little series of videos now throughout the rest of the year. Fish with some really good anglers, etc, etc. Should be fun. So tonight, Matthew, I shall be fishing with my old pal, Ben Luscombe. Now, I used to fish for Ben probably, I don't know, eight years ago, and he, life got a bit busy and whatever, and he eventually stopped fishing. He hasn't been fishing for a few years. And yeah, we used to, we had some right adventures. We've made a couple of videos, the early Bassman videos. If you look right back, there's some stuff on the plinth. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. It's, it's his birthday session. So I've been promising him for ages that I'll take him out. So yes, we are off down the beach. He's, he's behind me about, he's about five minutes behind me. And let's just say that when I used to fish with Ben, he used to get very competitive, right? And I'm, not, I'm talking super competitive. And like, it was always a competition and he hated losing, which happened now and again. Uh, but yeah, really good laugh. We've, we've always been good friends. We've never fallen out once. You know, he's always, he, he watches all my videos now. He's all up to date with the videos. And yes, we are going out for a little session, three or four hours into darkness, coming off a big tide, southwest winds. I'm hoping it's not gonna to be too weedy, but we are going to a beach, not an estuary, a beach. And yes, hopefully we'll catch some bass. I've got I've got bait for pretty much everything. I've got bait for a hus, for a ray, you know, so we're just gonna wing it. Haven't seen him for ages, so I can't wait to see him. It's been such a long time. And yes, let's see if he's still as competitive as he was back then. And I think, to be honest, it's probably one of the reasons why I stopped fishing with him, because it was always a bloody competition. But anyway, great guy, and yes, we're almost at the beach, guys. See you soon. <laughs> so here he is, who's Ben? Say hello. hello to the folks. Good afternoon, evening, whatever yes. it is now. I used to call you Obi-Wan, didn't I? Used to, yeah. Do you um, remember why? Because I couldn't remember on the way in the car and then I just remembered. Go on Because you were my Padawan. Padawan, that was it. That, remember? Yeah. And you, on, ate it, and you <laughs> ate that. You said, I ain't your, you ain't your apprentice. Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, I do. Yeah, and then after that, he'd regularly outfish me, the git. Not yeah. here, though. Oh, yeah, here. Not was... here. This was the Nemesis Beach last time, if I remember rightly. You spat your, your About, dummy out. Yeah, I got a bit of a mood on. I didn't catch anything. You was pulling them in left, right and centre. I was saying, and we were just so right next to, to each other as yeah. well. And I was saying to the folks in the way in the car, just a little quick intro, that you are quite competitive. Yeah, very. <laughs> kind of, yeah. So I've got the best worm, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I killed all his. Uh, stabbed them. Brilliant. <laughs> so this is how long Ben hasn't been fishing for, guys. I think my, it's got cobwebs on it. Oh, my God. Been sat in the shed. I'm writing that with my left hand, by the way. Bass. And then I got cobwebs all over. And you got cobwebs on your rod rest. Oh dear, dear, dear. Well, we'll soon sort that out, son. It's been a while. Happy birthday, by the way. Thank you. Yesterday. Yeah. How old are you now, man? I have no idea. No, I'm not good. Keep track anymore. No, younger than me, that's for sure. I'm much better looking. A lot. Still. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Lisa. Shut up, Miss Hans. <laughs> Three, two, one. Felston! Felston! Yes, we are at Felston. I give you Felston. <laughs> I'm new to this. Felston. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to spin around. We are here. We are fishing. Well, we're not fishing yet. We're just getting set up. And the beach is clearing. And the bass are coming. Obi-Wan is here. Let's go, son. Yep. So this was your new rod, what, two years ago? Three years ago. Three years ago you bought that? Yeah. Off me, I think. Still got the wrapping on it, look. Yeah, I thought... Oh, you have used it, look, once, I think. Maybe. Once or twice, <laughs> mate. Well, welcome back. We welcome go. along. Yeah, let's get served, man. It's rammed, isn't it? 
Absolutely ram, ram a lamb. It's one of my circle rigs, stinger rigs. Happy birthday, son. Thank you, sir. Yes. Load them up, boy. I will do. You remember, you remember where, where the bait goes? How do you tie a knot? Yeah. <laughs> Six turns around, son. Back through the loop. I'm on break. Oh, ten turns around, <laughs> son, and back through the loop twice. Right on. That still remembers how to cast. And here we are, a smorgasbord of food. We've got some just hanging on rag, some just hanging on lug, some just hanging on crab, and some refrozen sand eel. Yes. So I'm going with my all time favorite bait, which I don't think I've shown you before. The lug and rag combo. Yes. Uh, I've got the stinger rig there, obviously not that's not, um, right next to the bait. And that ragworm, I've sort, of, I've sort of like hooked it past the head so it doesn't die and sort of like hung it off the end. And I've done really, really well like that. And another thing, you can just nip the tail off as well. Top tip. So there we go, there's my, there's a new rig that's just gone up, the biggest stinger rig. So it's a 4.0 wide gate and a bigger circle on the back which I've left loose so you can do what you want with it for bigger baits so it's a nice squid on there and I'm going to strap that on the back crab piggyback here we are our first cast Ben's just had a little inquiry with a it's about 30 yards out isn't it that one yeah it's not very far at all yeah I thought I'd go a bit further than short here. gives you fish Little inquiry, my rod went over. Did it? Yeah. There you go. Beautiful bait. Nicely presented. I don't sit because he's that far away from my rod. Yes. Big bass bait. Big huss. Come and get it, boys. Ben's moaning already because he missed a bite. <laughs> Too far away from a problem. You rod me! And you missed it. <laughs> I saw that. I saw that too early. <laughs> He's rusty. He's rusty. <laughs> Go on, son. Too early. I got that on film as well. Yeah, so the beach is clearing away nicely. Ben's had a couple of bites. And let's talk conditions here, guys and girls. They're not ideal too flat but it's a little bit deceiving it's a, it's actually rougher than it looks through the lens there is a bit of swell coming in so you know we're pretty confident we'll bag a few schoolies maybe a bigger one we'll see One by one, they disappear. Yeah. Come on, the Obi Wan. Like a goby. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> the goby's all right. It's better than nothing. You know, when you're a kid in the rock pools and you're checking out goby. Yeah. What the goby? Probably is a plenty then. Lenny Hill. So 
I'm just going to explain this now. Ben's been having a bit of trouble with weed. Pulling in big lumps like, and I've been pretty clear to be honest. And I'll just, uh, I've just enlightened Ben, let him into a little secret, it's the braid mate. So the braid floats. So that's the problem, it floats. So when it's out there on that set, it's not going, it's not going down like my mono's going straight down. Yeah. So I used to use braid a lot. That's all they use. Yeah, well, I always used to use braid, mate, yeah. you know that. But on the beaches and that now, I'll just, I'll never use it because of that reason. It floats and it catches all the weed. Yeah, you can actually see it. I can actually see it on his line out there now. There's already weed on that other line. So yeah, just a um, little tip for you there, guys. Yeah, braid floats. Mono doesn't collect the weed so much. So here we are. Ben's been getting the, all the bites, really. So we've just gone down to a Camazan Wano, one of my other stinger rigs, and an even smaller stinger at the back. Let's see if we can catch these little buggers. That's a bream, mate. That's a gilt head. Look at the rod, look at the rod tip, guys and girls. Bang, 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 bang. What do you reckon, bass or guilt, mate? Bass. You reckon bass? I don't know. He seemed to be fighting like a bass. And he was just winding in, weren't you? No, I was just giving the old pull just to make some movement in the water. And Bang. I went. Yes. I was picking one up. Find out any second. Well, the way it was banging, I reckon it's a little bream. Yeah, so coochies, I told you, mate. Yeah. What did I tell you? Yeah. What did I tell you? I said it was all like. What did I tell you earlier? Yeah, what did I tell you? Coochies, yeah. And I said, got a smaller hook on. Well, now you got to do the same. Yeah, I've already done it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, bud. Know who's yeah, look, look. Competitive. Hey. Now who's competitive? You. Huh? <laughs> no, mate, that's top darts, man. Sneaky. Coochies premium. Right, come on then, present me your, present me your pink fish. Absolutely beautiful. I came here years ago with my first ever client, Archie, and he caught three of these in daylight. He's forgotten how to hold them, haven't you? Yeah. Come on, mate. <laughs> Where's Never mind the rag. He's very lively. Right, just let him settle down. Look at his fins, man. Oh my God. Oh, that is absolutely, that's better looking than you, mate. I've got to say it. I doubt it. Yeah, mate, that is beautiful. Look at that, folks. A lovely Cooch's Bream. And Cooch's is spelt C-O-U-C-H-S. Not Cooch E-S, by the way. So, yeah. That's my second one. That's my biggest one, but that's my second ever one. All right, let's get, a, let's get a picture, mate. So, that was on the Stinger or what? Bike, Which hook was it on? Stinger. Let's have a look then. Show me the Stinger. There. Yes, mate. So here we are, Obi Wan. With his lovely Coochie Spream. Look at the fins on it, man. It's, oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? And I knew they were here, guys. Yes, and I knew it was a bream as well. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Yeah, yeah. Right, mate, go on, put them back. Guess what I've caught? Flounder! Yay! Hold well on, mate. So that is the second fish to me. That's nice, isn't it? A little flounder. Yeah. Chuffed with that. Uh -huh. Quite fat, mate. Yeah, he looks it. Yeah. Yeah, he's uh, unfortunately he's uh, he has swallowed the camasan. No. Oh. Yeah. So yeah, second fish of the night. Nice. The fatness of that. Nice like summer flounder. Fatter than me. Best 
There you go, he's gone. Didn't weigh on it, did he? Yeah. You want to call me catching weed? I'm recording you on your weed mission. Now you're looking good there with your cap like that. Yeah. Well, I got it because of my life. I'm just caught it Yeah, I'm not getting any of that. Braided line, no good. Oh, just getting dark. Oh, hey, it's a red mullet. mullet. Hang on, my lens is all dirty. I got light off. Here we are. He's done it again, look. Whee! Bit flappy, beautiful red mullet. Colours on that, guys and girls. Is that beautiful or what? That's better looking than you. Why am I catching all the red fish? I don't know, because you're the red man tonight. <laughs> That's wicked, mate. Hold him up for a little shot. You don't like the other way if you can. <laughs> Let me come to you. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, mate. Look at the, look at the top fin on it, look. How cool is that, man? Yeah, mate. That's a lovely fish, mate. You know, really nice. And these, these are prevalent here, usually August, September time. Because my uh, good friend, my bass brother, Phil Mingo, catches a few of these beauties. So yeah, really, really nice fish, Ben. Let's get a picture, mate. Oi! <laughs> go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Fish on, I do believe. Hey, it's a bass! That's why I said we're not going home until we get a bass. Jeez. Nice. There we go, mate. Spin it round. You got one. Sandy. Sandy bass. Yeah, nice little schoolie. Probably about what a pound. If you're lucky. Yeah. We didn't think we were going to get any more fish, did we? gone a bit rubbish. Tide's gone over and um, I've moved down to the right of you because I wasn't happy where I was. 
wasn't really happening there either. So yeah, well done, mate. Oh, that wasn't very far. Like 40 yeah, that's all I am, mate. Yeah. yeah on the Stinger it. rig. <laughs> Available on my website, fishingguidesdevon.co.uk forward slash shop. Get by. That's my last chance saloon, three rag, and a big juicy lug. Look at that circle sticking out, just waiting to catch anything. Yeah, good species then tonight, mate. Yeah. That's four so far. Done all right, mate. All we need now is a speckled twat. Well, I doubt if it was eating that. Hang on. It's all tangled up. Unchewed up. Unchewed up. Yeah, I reckon that was a, um, a bull ass or an eel or something. It's trashed it, hasn't it? Yeah. Damn. Oh well. Yeah, shame about that. Oh yeah, let's turn, turn the hook up around the line. Classic eel bite. Damn. That would have been another species. Another species, what a bit, yeah. Snotty eel. That is what it's done to my trace, look. There you go. Pulled it out now, it's all full of slime probably. Yeah, you can see it there, look. Yeah. Well, it's messed up my trace for sure. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. What I love about my setup is I can see where everything is without the light on. And it's just really nice, really nice to know where everything is in the dark. You don't smash into your rod rest. Really nice. Well, I'm down to one rod now and it's just started raining. Ben's packing up, he's got to get up for work in the morning. Uh, not nice. Hey, I've got a bite, yeah. Hold that. <laughs> right. Yeah. Damn it, that was my first bite for ages. Well, it wasn't actually, because we had one just now, didn't we? But... Yeah. I thought that was going to go over. Right. Want a little tip with these rod lights? Hey, okay, what? You want a tip with these rod lights? What, put them in the freezer? Yeah. Yeah, so Ben's tip of the day, which I knew he was going to say. Yeah. Put your tip lights in the freezer, guys, if you're tight like we are. And they last for like five sessions, don't they? You can have it. Brand new, that one is. Oh well, almost, I'll give it another minute. Come on, last bitey. Tip of the day guys, at the end of the night, don't throw your squid in the drink. It is better when it's pink. Don't throw it in the drink. <laughs> well, my friend, there we go. Excellent. Very, very good. Excellent. Happy yeah. bloody birthday. Thank you. Turned into a species hunt, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Yeah. And I was, I was a bit unlucky there, to be fair. And I moved to the right of you because I thought I was missing out. And I had a big bite. Yeah, and I had a big bite and missed it. And uh, there you go. But yeah, we had a really good time. 
I really hope you enjoyed the video tonight with me and Ben. It's been great seeing you, mate. Yeah, mate. And uh, guys, please, guys and girls, if you haven't subscribed and if you like the vibe, please hit subscribe because it makes a big difference. You know, I've only got three and a half thousand subscribers. I know it's hard to believe, but uh, yes. It's free as well. Free yeah. as well. Yeah. I've Anything to that. add? Um, subscribe. Yeah. Ha <laughs> subscribe, please. <laughs> it's free to do. Exactly that. It's free. It takes just a helps second. Out, you know. And you get all the notifications straight away so you don't have to mess around. Yeah, beauty. Well done, mate. I'm going to load up now and, uh, yes. See you, see you again soon, mate. Yeah, I no hope. Worries. Yeah, I'll nice see you one. Later. Cheers, bye. Nice see you later, Rob. Tight lines, guys and girls. Cheers, mate. Love, love you, man. I do. See ya.